Apple just released their first VR heads. It's $4,000. And if you don't plan on buying it, you're probably gonna be like everyone else on the internet. We don't want it. I see no vision that this will succeed. Snob gadget for snob people. These things look ridiculous, LOL. $20 says sales are not that good. Right, they might kind of look ridiculous, but I can bet you $4,219.60 that sales cannot be that bad. <laughs> I wanted to experience Apple's spatial reality, so I'm gonna spend the next 24 hours in the Apple Vision Pro. The first few minutes, I was kind of figuring out what exactly to do with the next 24 hours of my life. I didn't really have a game plan besides just figuring out how to work everything and exploring as much as I can in the headset. I opened up a timer and started a countdown to match my phone so I could have another way to check on the time. To be honest, that was a horrible idea because you don't know how long 24 hours is so you keep staring at it anyways i started my journey by downloading a bunch of brand new apps to look interesting and by checking out the tutorials so i would know how to control everything i learned the hand gestures and i tried out some environments and for just a few minutes in i was literally already blown away at how real not just the environments but also how real the windows and the apps look once i was like fully immersed, it was mind blowing, but also pretty impressive. I've never tried any virtual reality headset before, so I probably spent way more time just examining everything. I mean, <laughs> if I looked crazy, I'm probably gonna sound even crazier because I, I don't know how else to say this, but I tried to touch Siri. What now, hear me out. She was so close and she was basically in the palm of my hand. I just couldn't visit her. After doing my best to getting used to everything, which I pretty much never did, I wanted to call my friends to help me pass the time and to show them the persona avatar I made last night. It's basically an AI recreation of you so that when you FaceTime anyone with the headset on, they have something to look at. I had a little bit oh too God. much fun with it what the night before, that? but I was excited to get their reactions but no one answered, not even my mom. So I kind of just sat there for a second and waited. They were probably busy. So I decided to do some other things while I wait on someone to call me back. I played some brain games, starting with the new Lego app, which was fun to play. I'm used to playing Fortnite all day. So learning a brand new game was actually really fun. The other brain game I played was a little different, but more like a puzzle. And it was really satisfying when you complete one. I wanted to see if I could lay down and look at the ceiling after a while. I accidentally caught the timer in the corner of my eye and with about 22 hours still left. I had to find something to do that grabbed my attention so that I wouldn't get bored. I wasn't planning on doing this so early on, but with no one to pass the time with still, I decided to watch a movie. I watched the only movie in my library, which just happened to be three hours long, but it turned out to be the greatest decision. I turned the midnight mountains on and it felt like I was literally watching in IMAX. I don't go to the theater often, but I always love the experience when I go. Now I feel like I own that same experience on demand and on the moon. So that's how the first five hours went. I decided it was time to take care of some IRL things now. So I got up and I was about to see how well I can move around. After a quick bathroom break, I took my first screenshot of the first day of what I now believed to be the future. Which is scary, but then I had to take my dog out and I didn't want to attract too much attention, so I tried on a hat and I think the hat actually made me look even worse, so I just took the hat off and tried to hurry up because I was more afraid of social interactions. How's it going? How's it going? Do I look as stupid as I feel? Nah, bro, you look dope. <laughs> this is like a Black Mirror episode, but yeah. the bad part hasn't happened yet. Y'all have a nice day. Yeah, you too, man. Yeah, I'm about to get up. After a few minutes, we got back in and I did some housekeeping. It wasn't so boring because I was taking Apple Music everywhere I went and I kept it with me so I could multitask. I started my laundry, then vacuumed up a little bit and I noticed the sunset and just kind of checked it out for a second. It's always beautiful and despite my windows always being open, I almost always miss it. You would think that being in a $4,000 headset that you wouldn't ever even think about the sun, but it's kind of the other way around. Sometimes you have to lose something to realize how good it was.
Anyways, I was getting hungry. There was barely anything in my fridge. And I didn't want to drive anywhere. So I ordered pizza. Yup. How you doing? Cause you got a VR set on? Yes, the new Apple thing. Ah, gotcha. All my apps were waiting for me when I got back. So I used my TV and then I rearranged some screens before I ate. I could definitely get used to this. It seemed like everything was going perfect until my headache. I don't know if it was from overstimulation or from trying to hold my head up for so long, but I was actually getting lightheaded and I didn't know what to do. So I tried finishing my chores, took some medicine, and I went to lie down in bed as quickly as possible. I have no idea why I did this, but I decided to try the mindfulness app and it was actually guided meditation. I've never done anything like this in my entire life, but I'm glad I did because it really calmed me down. I also know I was overthinking about if I was going to finish the challenge because I still wasn't even halfway through the 24 hours, but just focusing on something as simple as breathe thing sounds wild. But it took me back to the present and taught me how to take a break sometimes. Time seemed to fly after I started feeling better. I found some more apps to try, checked my Twitter, and I just chilled on the moon for a little. Before I knew it, I was halfway done. I decided to try out all the immersive apps I downloaded earlier in my living room. I tried some things that I enjoy in private, but could never quite share with anyone who I thought would find it interesting. I tried interior design and I got carried away with making my dream home. Then I tried DJing for the first time and either I was really tired or I was having so much fun that I was going delusional. Definitely both, but after losing track of time and almost losing a finger, I took some house tours. There was an attempt at drawing something, but I didn't really know what to draw. Then I stargazed. I was back in my bed when I found out that you can turn on the northern lights. And after almost falling asleep, the sun was out again. So I got up and did a final morning routine. I brushed my teeth, took the dishes out the dishwasher and my clothes out the dryer. Then I noticed Daisy staring at me as usual and I honestly felt bad for not spending enough time with her recently. So I finally figured out what to draw. I grabbed a pen, started drawing, and I fucked up. So I turned the page, started over, and I almost finished, but it still kind of looked fucked up. I tried showing it to Daisy and she got pretty angry. So with less than an hour left now, I kind of just sat there and tried to think about everything before the timer ended. But the headset came off the same way it came on. I did it. I guess the actual realization that I came to at the end is that I actually had fun. Me. And after a while, I ended up forgetting that I don't need to wait on anyone for that to happen. All I needed was myself. And maybe a $4,000 headset. Oh,